So today we're going to start as King Otto the Great of Germany. Well, not great just yet, but in real life, he did end up forming the Holy Roman Empire. So that is our goal today. We need to take the decision to restore the HRE. Now to do that, we need to get illustrious. We need to control at least three kingdom titles. And the Pope does need to like us or we need to have a hook on him. Now getting 60 opinion shouldn't be too difficult. As yeah, in real life, of course, the Pope crowned Otto. So yeah, we kind of need to be on good terms with the Pope to get that. Also, if everybody watching this subscribed, I hit my new goal in no time and it really would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. Now starting out, we have a pretty strong ally, King Athelstan the Glorious of England, who's going to come with about 4,000 troops and we got about 4k as well. So together we should have about 8,000 troops. It's pretty powerful and we have claims on Italy, Lower Lorraine, Upper Lorraine, Lundberg and Hanover. So we have some decent claims as well to get it started. We do have 15 out of 6 holdings. So we need to fix that. Otherwise, all our vassals are just going to hate us. We're going to have no tax and it'll just be a pain. And in real life, King Otto gave a lot of land to his own family. This allowed him to gain power fast. So we're going to try the same. We have our brother. So let's give him a decent chunk of land over here. And we give the rest away. And we got 7 out of 7. We're going to Marshall as well. We've already got some Marshall perks. We may as well stick with it. And we're actually making decent money. But our capital capital only has pastures built. So we're going to want to build some stuff in our capital, mainly a farms and fields for that 0.5 gold a month. And we have an absolutely terrible council. So hopefully we have some better people because yeah, we, we don't want to deal with that. Oh, and we can have our brother as our spy master. And he absolutely loves us because we did just give him a lot of land. So that should work out pretty well for us. And I'm thinking maybe to start out, we start out kind of small and go for this guy rather than Italy. Although we do have a claim on all of Italy, that might be a bit too much for us just now. He is also allied with England as well, so that could be a problem. Yeah, we are definitely going to need a bigger army, so we're going to try and get some siege equipment to add to that. Otherwise, our sieges will just take forever. Ooh, burning rivalry. Who is this? My half-brother and vassal. Oh, he stole my house banner. And he's a bastard. He's not even legitimate. And he's stole my banner so he is holding my stolen house banner over a fire so we can let him burn it which i'd rather not do because you know it's a decent house banner plus six vassal limit is huge stealing are you afraid to face me so we're gonna duel him so hopefully we can win this then taste silver fiend yeah we could taste the wrath of saint george yes okay single combat victory so we get injured do i get my banner back where there's smoke okay yes i do get it back okay good <laughs> thief you must have come in climbed up onto my throne and like struggled to reach it off the wall what a weirdo i'm gonna be honest i was kind of 50 50 a bit iffy on the announcement of friends and foes like mainly just events the memories thing is cool but early on you just hit 100 events for like a fiver or whatever and it you know, it kind of felt a bit weird. But since having it, it does actually add quite a lot to the game. It kind of surprised me. Everything just feels a lot more natural now with the other characters, the relationships, like the rivalries and everything like that. I feel like a lot more actually happens. Oh, our court grand is actually below expected level. So we are going to take, yeah, minus 1.27 prestige a month. And obviously we need prestige. We need fame. We need to get to illustrious. So two more levels we need to go. So we're going to try and fix that. Okay, so if we do that, it's going to get us exactly level with it. It's expensive though. So we're going to have to hold out on that just a minute because I don't want to spend all my money on that. That is a bit expensive right now. The traitor in Lorraine. The treacherous Duke Gizelbert of Lorraine left our service after the death of our esteemed father, King Henry. Now they have turned to the protection of the Carlings in West Francia, asking them for aid against us. Okay, so basically this guy used to like work with our father. Now, after the death of our father, he's split, gone away, and he's working with the Carlings, and he wants to get aid from them to take us on. Of course, we can't be having that. So what can we do? We can start a war, a duchy conquest, or we can be honorous and be all chivalrous. No. So what is it? Wait, is this for all of his land? Oh, that'd be, that'd be an extra kingdom then to actually form the HRE. Uh, okay, yes, I'll take that. May as well get England involved as well. Oh, who is this? My sister. Oh, is actually married off to him. And now she's basically saying, oh God. So basically this guy is insane. He seems to take great pleasure in other people's suffering. Even his subjects are terrorized. I fear for my safety here. Please don't forget about your devoted sister. 50% chance of her escaping. Should we try it? Oh god, he abused her. She didn't escape. So we're rivals now. We're, yeah, he's abusive to my sister. 
Oh, good thing we're about to take all his land then. Welcome home. Oh, we did get it. Made a friend and we're friends. This is the kind of stuff I was talking about, friends and foes. It makes relationships like 10 times more dynamic, it feels like. Right, we can start to murder him. No. Let's get them divorced. There's no point murdering him because he's, you know, we want him to suffer. He's about to lose all his land. Yeah, he's got no chance. All right, let's start all the big sieges down here then around his capital. Ooh, and the AI is going big on the sieges. Oh, the AI is actually playing well. They've left an army sieging and the rest are following to fight. What is going on? Oh, what is this? Oh, Italy has joined. Well, that is actually very bad for us. Yeah, I think if all our armies are together and we march down as one, we should be able to defeat all their allies as well. Let's go in for it. Oh, yeah, we absolutely destroyed them. Uh-oh, they jumped in and caught the English army by surprise. We're up 98%, so if we get enough... Yeah. So it didn't do anything for the war score, though. But that did 100%. So we just got a lot of new vassals who may be a pain to deal with. Now, I'm quite confused. It says you must control at least three kingdom titles. Now, I don't know if I need to create the titles. Yeah, it says kingdoms titles. Okay, never mind. Now, we have a strong faction. I see you have a daughter. She's betrothed. Okay. Ooh, this guy has a lot of land. Let's try get him on our side. Bavaria. We need to get an alliance with them, definitely, because they're very powerful. Yeah, he'll accept that. Let's get an alliance with them so they can't join any factions because they got, like, you know, 2k troops. Don't want to deal with that. Oh, they're claiming it for the guy who stole my banner. Really? You're claiming it for a thief? We're actually going to swap over to diplomacy then. Let's try and get some friends. <laughs> Let's try and get a secure kingdom where we can expand from rather than it just falling apart because everybody hates me. I wonder what this guy is up to. <laughs> look at him. He's, oh, oh, he's married a child. King's child? Italy's king's child? Look at him. Why would you marry your daughter to this creepy man? And now I think it'd be a good time to start swaying the Pope anyway, because we do need to get that opinion up with the Pope. And the sooner we start, the better. Ooh, so King Athelstan the Glorious has been helping us out a lot. So we're friends now. Lovely. That's a good ally and a good friend to have for sure. God, are we just going to have unlimited friends? I don't want to become friends with the King of Italy, though, because I never want to see his face again. Yeah, we will be going to war at some point because King Otto in real life did conquer Italy. I'm pretty sure. Happy birthday. What a surprise. Okay, so they've all wished me well as I begin the next year of my life. You receive the large gift. Uh, yes. Wow. Whole sword plus four prowess and plus two advantage in a forest. That's pretty great. Four prowess is quite a lot. We're now up to 16. So any more duels and we can definitely win them. Oh, we can get a pet cat. Of course, I want a pet cat. A knight's declaration. As I pace towards my throne, I overhear my ridder, Magnus, proclaiming something to my wife. He's massive. Yeah, get away from my wife. What are you doing? Like, how about you just don't do that? Oh, we've got another son. Prince Otto of Germany. Well, let's see how useful you're going to be. Not at all. All right, fair enough. By then. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get thoughtful and then we're going to get this as this allows us to create titles for 20% less. So we have to create two kingdom titles. So this will be very important for us. Oh, it turns out the king of Italy died of old age. He was 63. Didn't realize he was so old, but that means they're much weaker. They've lost a lot of their allies and they're facing two wars. We're probably never going to get a better chance than this to take Italy. And of course, this is very important for us to do. So we're going to call our allies and actually go for it. I was not expecting this. So we're going to start off a bunch of sieges and of course, then wait for our allies. My wife is apparently allergic to the cat. I don't think I've ever once had a cat in this game without someone being allergic to it. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to give him away. Ooh, dangerous faction. Independence faction has started. Now that... Not exactly the most powerful. But if you'll marry my daughter, I'll do it just to stop it. Yeah, may as well. A daughter's got no other use, I guess. So, you know. And with our allies here as well, we're doing fast sieges. We have 29%. Oh, no. My army's actually been caught out on their own all the way down here. Oh, and again. Oh, no. We need everyone to rush in. Okay, that was lucky. They did catch me by surprise there. So we do have to be careful. But now we have got that. So the best thing we can probably do is just get our money up at this point so we can create them titles. You know what? I think we just go for the capital. Oh, oh God, I think we should run. Uh, the Byzantines are on their side. Where did that come from? Okay, we can actually get Normandy. Okay, that might save us if we can just sneak in a Normandy. Because yeah, they have the Romans on their side. Wait, no, they don't have the Romans. Who do they have? Okay, I thought it was the Byzantines, but no, it's this guy who's still fairly powerful. So we are going to retreat. 
We're going to see if we can get Normandy to come help us. And he will. And in the meantime, yeah, we'll just build up our supplies, get some reinforcements, hopefully, unless they full on chase us. Right, let's go for it then. We're going to sneak through the mountain pass here. And we're going to try and jump them. Oh, they've clocked on. We have to win this though. Well, this is a failed fight. Okay, so it turns out the big army we needed was very slow. <laughs> and now my guy's all stressed. Okay, this might go very wrong because they pulled an alliance out of nowhere. I mean, fair play to them, I guess. But it's not good for us. Right, let's go slower this time. Let's not leave any armies behind. We need them all. I think we can defeat them as long as they're all here. But look, they're like coming in like slow. We need them in one big army just to get right in the middle there. Yeah, look at that. That's what we needed the first time. But we came way too split up last time, so we had no chance. And we're going to have to start re-sieging everything we've lost. So yeah, right now, I'm just kind of sieging a straight line towards the... Oh, no. Okay, so Athelstan has died. That means our alliance is gone. They are still in this war, though. So we may have just sneaked by with what we needed them for. But yeah, that he actually did just die. Although, for now, yeah, we're just going to siege around their capital then. Hopefully put an end to it quite quick. Oh, the enemy banner. Oh, so we got the Italian war banner. And what happened? We captured the king. That's very lucky because, yeah, they were quite powerful. Maybe even, yeah, more powerful than us. They had some big backers. But once you're captured, you're captured. And that war took actually seven years. Well, that was a big war. And honestly, probably one of the messiest wars I've ever been a part of. I'm not going to lie. And we got Lover's Pox. Great, yes. But now, yeah, we're pretty big. And I want to check. Do we have to make the titles? No. Oh, well, that's kind of throwing my strategy straight out the window of making loads of money then to do it. Okay, so now the challenge changes to keeping the Empire together and, yeah, coming friends with the Pope, which, uh, yeah, I don't think is going to be likely. So, let's change over to Intrigue. Oh, we can't just yet. Great. Okay, so I had to give away some land and grant some of my vassals their own vassals, but we are back under the limit making 12 gold a month which is fantastic okay so we're gonna change to an intrigue focus and we're gonna get truth is relative because if we get a hook on the pope then we will be able to actually create the hre so of course we want to do that but it's gonna be hard to try and keep all these people on our side everybody hates us okay yeah we're not gonna be able to stop every faction so i'm just gonna spend some money improving our army so we can fight them off like i've looked through and i can't see any quick ways to end this Normandy lost all his land. So that's another alliance gone. That's not good for us. We need Norway. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. God, look at our stress. Visit a brothel. Yeah, if that's what it takes, please. We're going to die from stress if this carries on. Nice. Okay, we finally have an intrigue perk. So we need to pick up truth is relative. And straight away, we're going to abandon our sway. And we're going to start a scheme to fabricate a hook on him. Okay, yeah, we've somehow reached the next level of stress. I don't even know what happened anymore. This character is just a complete stress head. We're going to have to lose a level of fame. No, we can't do that. Lose 600 gold? No. Let them all burn. Minus four diplomacy, t minus 10 general opinion. Yeah, we're going to have to take that. Uh-oh, the Pope found out about my hook. So we can't do that for another five years. Okay, now I'm panicking. Yeah, there we are. This faction has begun, right? Let's see what we can do. The main leader is this guy. Right, let's raise all right there. And we're going to jump on his capital and maybe even his army. Let's stop the main big army from getting about. Okay, they're gone. Okay, we did manage to catch them. And now we're going to jump on his capital. Because, yeah, I'm more than happy to just take a white piece, to be honest. Like, that does me perfectly. Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. I was so lucky. Feels like we got the kingdom so quick and then it everything's just gone wrong since so yeah it is nice that something did eventually go well for us we can stop being rivals with this guy i will amend his face yeah we can wound him yeah i'd rather do that just kick the living daylight out of him at our feast okay we can once again fabricate the hook so we need to make sure this time it doesn't fail because i mean yeah that that would be a problem because we probably don't have too long left we're 54 i mean our time is definitely limited we just need to get one more level of fame and obviously the hook oh we need 200 piety and we're actually on minus 300 we could actually ask him to seek indulgences he will like us a bit more and we gain 100 piety uh yeah okay let's do that and maybe then when we can we switch to a learning focus going to theology focus to get that piety who's that our brother died oh my god finally this guy has been a non-stop pain literally the whole game he's been stealing from me he's been constantly starting faction wars and claimant wars for himself he's finally dead 
That is the biggest relief. I don't think you understand. He's been such a pain the whole time. Here we are. We've got almost 500 gold. Because I think the best way we're going to be able to do this is we create any kingdom titles we can. Oh. And of course, we do have the diplomacy perk. So it is actually only 400. So yeah, that's big boost to our fame. And I think we can create Bavaria. Yes. So if we create both of them, that should push us over to Illustrious. Then we need to get our piety up because we need 200 piety. And of course, the 500 gold. Basically, just going to be a race to not die, I guess. Oh, there is a large faction. Let's see. Who is the main leader? This guy. Okay, so we're going to put a point right there and we're going to raise all. And once they're all raised, we're going to rush onto this guy's capital and hope we capture him. Come on, siege quick, please. And we just got a weak hook on the Pope. And that is all we need. We don't need a strong one, just a weak one. Okay, we didn't capture anyone. We should be able to defeat them in a fight though. 32%, white piece that. Yeah, and now that's that faction dealt with. Basically what we can only really hope to do when they're bigger than us. Because we do want them to end as soon as possible. Because we need the money. And we just gained 150 piety. That's huge. Almost got the 200 we need. Ooh, now looking at that, we can probably just create a duchy title. So let's say we create the duchy of Angria. That should push us. Yeah, look at that. Ever so slightly over. And now we're illustrious. So now we just need 500 gold, I think. And we could finally restore the Holy Roman Empire. God, that took... Actually longer than I expected. Like, getting the land wasn't so much of a problem. It was getting the piety, getting the, like, level of fame. Dealing with the constant factions. Now, what we need is the Pope not to just die on us. Because, you know, I would like to use this hook on him. Please. The Northman army are suddenly, randomly fighting me. Um, sure. I'm, I'm quite confused about that. I didn't expect them to come and fight me. But we should be able to handle them with ease. God, quick, we need to end this quick. It's absolutely rinsing the money I was saving up. <laughs> Look at that. Minus 30 a month. Please, just, just, just sit the army down. Please, please, please. Right? <gasps> you know what that means. Restore the Holy Roman Empire. Yes. So we get a press claim on everything. That's cool. Could we get a press claim on Bohemia and Burgundy? But we do have everything else. Sorbia, where do we have that? Yeah, mostly. You get princely elective succession and male-only succession. The Empire of the West. For too long, the mantle of the Roman Emperor in the West has gone unclaimed. Today, I face Pope Clemens in the grandest church in all of Rome, surrounded by my vassals and clergy that changes. At last, I am the Holy Roman Emperor. From Augustus to Charlemagne to Otto, we get the nickname the Great, like we said at the start. We're officially the Great. We're now known as the Great. So there we are. There we have it. Kaiser Otto the Great of the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, there's a loads of start dates on this mod. So if there's any other start dates and like challenges you'd like for me to try, please let me know in the comments. But of course, thank you all so much for watching. And of course, a special thank you to the channel members. We have Intermio One, Engelus, and Victor Voss Anderson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.